Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another Friday sit rep. Time for a little spring cleaning here at Brick Mania. So we've got select kits and minifigures now marked down 20% uh, in their own special category. Those discounts will stack uh, with things like Elite and other promotions that we'll be running. And they're also available in our retail stores as well. Yeah, so pretty awesome to have this time of year come around where we get to move some of those kits. So if there's been some stuff that you've had your eye on, you're like, ah, I'm not quite sure if I want to pull the trigger on that. Now is the perfect time to do so because like I said, that 20% discount will stack with additional ones or you just get it straight up 20% off, which is pretty awesome in its own right. So make sure to check out that specials category on the website. Otherwise, you'll be able to check in with your store associates at wherever your retail location is to see exactly what's on that list of markdown items. Uh, but those will remain marked down while supplies last. So make sure to move on it if there's only a couple left. Um, otherwise, make sure to check back off and to see what's uh, what's kind of moving in and out of that category. Also, you may have known that these past two weekends, we had some awesome grand openings uh, at both of our locations in California. So before we get to the cool stuff hitting brickmania.com this week, we wanted to kick off with some of the sights and sounds from those past two weekends. Hope you enjoy. Hello. We're going to get this open so the kids can enjoy it. Hey. All right, moving into what's new on BrickMania.com, we've got a new pre-order and new release. So first up on pre-order is the Military 4x4, uh, designed by Nate. And then we also have Nate showing off the British 3 Series, which was designed by Andrea. That is our new release um, for the Falklands War Month. So where do you want to start, Nate? Uh, I guess the Falklands 3. All right, sounds yeah. good. Yeah, so this is another standard uh, British Cold War uh utility truck used during the Falklands Lake Cold War and if I'm being honest this is actually my favorite of the Falklands kits that I worked on because it's squat symbol and it's got this nice little suspension I mean the LR101 also has suspension but but I love I love this suspension in particular for photography because it just poses so well yeah, yeah. it's definitely good for photography and it's just fun to wobble but I also kind of like the fact that this actually has a brick built canvas as opposed to us doing normal canvas one was to give Slam a bit of slack with all the canvases he had to do this year, but also just because it kind of gives this one a distinct look, and it's easy to pull off. Oh, hey, what's that? A minifig. It, the kit comes with that, and some printed boxes. <laughs> we got some rations, and we got some uh, fish and chips, because, you know, British. And, of course, this minifig. But, yeah, it's really nice, kind of the same as the... Uh, the Yomper, but without all the baggage on him. Just kind of a standard utility uniform. Got the little nice mustache. This ended up being really nice. But yeah, it's a nice small build. Uh, it's definitely good to get a bunch of yompers with this so they can all go yomp into the wild. Because <laughs> I still don't know what that phrase means. Anyways. But yeah, no, this one was definitely a treat to work on. Oh, also. Well, I guess the tire comes off, but there's a little engine inside. Oh, very cool. Yeah, especially for such a small build. That's cool to integrate. Yeah, no, this is a very well-made design and... Yeah, this one was a lot of fun to work on. Highly recommend. Phenomenal. Well, this is this week's new release, so it is available right now on BrickMania.com. You don't have to wait uh, for the pre-order to show up. However, this other one, designed by Nate, uh, you will have to wait for the pre-order. So now let's shift over to the Military 4x4. Yep, this is a Military 4x4, much like the regular 4x4 we had last time, but without the canvas. And it actually has these white tiles in front that will be printed. For Military Police, correct? Yeah, that just says finish. Military Police. A lot of times they kind of just... Uh, slap military police on part of the windshield. Sometimes it was like a regular gray windshield that would have like, they would write military police in white. Uh, I opted for the white background to sort of have it inverted where the tiles are white, but the text will be uh, dark, dark bluish gray. So okay. it's gonna say uh, military police on here, but we also have this little, uh, the bar thing. This is, cause a lot of times in Germany, uh, they would actually like put like a little string wire across like things that like two trees during a road, and if a Jeep just kind of went past that, it would kind of like uh, lob the heads off of drivers, and that's bad, and we can't have that. So <laughs> so they had like the little bar, I don't know the terminology, but it was kind of like, it would either like uh, break, break the string, or it would 
act or it would act like Looney Tunes style where the string would pull all the G back and just send the G flying. That didn't actually happen, but let's pretend it did. That's an interesting bit of trivia there to come up with uh, why, why that was integrated into that design. Well, I mean, 1940s, so Looney Tunes existed. So uh, We also get uh, two minifigs with this one because it's supposed to be a duo. Now, these are not the minifigs that it'll come with. These are actually the ones from the last Jeep, but I brought them personally because very similar but different faces, and instead of the corporal corporals on the side, it's actually a little uh, black uh, sleeve band with MP on it. And also the steel pots will be printed. Also, I believe, yeah, this is kind of a surprise drop. I'm, I'm actually surprised it's getting a pre-order, but I thought it would just kind of drop like the uh, uh, the Falklands truck when that would come. But apparently it's getting a pre-order, so that's neat. But, Plenty of hype around this build. I think it's definitely worthy of the slot, especially with those uh, two awesome minifigures, perfect calibers included. I mean, it'll definitely be one of the people's uh, 4x4 highlight. Yeah, it's sort of, I guess this is inadvertently my World War II take on the chips, just without the motorcycle. Yeah, it's a pair of MP cops arresting fascists in Europe, so yeah, that works. <laughs> or some rowdy GIs that are having a little too much fun. <laughs> Phenomenal, man. I love it. So that is now available on pre-order on BrickMania.com. Now uh, we will segue into our standalone minifigure, but Nathan, thank you very much for checking in. All right, and our standalone minifigure uh, is the Vietnam War Australian soldier for ASNAC Day, which is uh, on the on Monday, I believe. Uh, we've got Landon in studio talking a little bit more about this uh, figure. Let me know what we got going on here. Yeah, right on. So this one is a brand new figure uh, with artwork designed by Drew in-house here. Um, it's just kind of a nice uh, Vietnam era, um, just showing off the typical gear of the day. I think that's some... Uh, kind of like British um, pouches. I could be oh, wrong on that. I don't know if they had some um, that would make uh, sense. country specific stuff, but um, I believe it's some British stuff. I like the tall boots that he's got going on there. And then um, obviously this simple olive drab uniform um, that's kind of typical of that era. Um, one of my favorite pieces or parts of this, um, this loadout would be this, they call it the giggle hat. So it's, it's a boonie hat, right? Um, but it, it uh, from what we could tell from like some, some source pictures, it seemed to be a little bit more, um, almost cut down, a little bit smaller, and uh, just a bit of a different profile. Um, I thought it, I, we thought it was like iconic enough that it was worth having kind of its own from the ground up um, 3D printed element for this. So uh, I'm excited to see that. Um, you see special forces guys wearing these kind of these sh uh, shorter or smaller boonie hats, um, but um, it's it's uh, just an interesting piece from that era. Um, and then, yeah, full 360 printing. He's got his uh, web gear that goes all the way around. We've got canteens on the back, dual canteens. I'd imagine. Um, I mean, in real in real life, sometimes they even had like more canteens. You'd see the, see them with, um, just because it is so in, like, incredibly warm out there and um, tough to find fresh water you can drink too. Exactly, exactly. So uh, it's nice with the uh, the dual canteens there. Um, anything else? We've got the pistol belt wrapping around. Uh, ammo pouches on the front. That is the guy. Yeah, yeah I, I dig I dig this figure from the sense that I feel like you could get a squad of these guys together, add just a couple of, you know, maybe some different heads or whatever, and you'd have a really unique little pack there. So that's a, that's a cool bit to go with. So the uh, Vietnam War Australian Soldier, now available on BrickMania.com. Landon, thanks for checking in. Thank you. All right, BrickManiacs, that just about does it for a Friday. <laughs> hey, BrickManiacs. All right, BrickManiacs, that'll just about do it for a Friday sit rep. Remember, World War Brick just around the corner. We still have day passes available for both Saturday and Sunday. That is the 11th and 12th of June. And then remember, Chicago Brick Maniacs on the 18th, I believe it is, the Saturday after um, World War Brick, during Brick World, we are going to do an after hours event starting at about 4 p.m. at our Chicago location where we'll have a bunch of our designers, et cetera, just some of the team out there to hang out, eat some pizza, you know, do what you're going to do while you're in Chicago and Brick World's in the area. So that'll be a fun event. Stay tuned for more information there. Otherwise, that will do it for a Friday sit rep. Thank you very much for watching.